Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Thanks for joining us again. And the bonus content carries on, still two videos at the moment. Now, um, we've got an interesting puzzle sent us from Swaroop Gugilam, who is the coordinator, I think, for Logic Masters India. I think I met him when I went out to the uh, World Sudoku Championships in Bangalore about three years ago. Um, and he says that he's very impressed how Cracking the Cryptic is killing it, and he's designed us a slot killer puzzle. Now, the rules here are we've got some killer cages, which as normal, uh, you add up the numbers in the killer cage to get the number given in the corner. And normal Sudoku rules apply as usual, and there are these three grey strips which work like a slot machine in that the same numbers in the same order go down them, um, but not always starting from the same point. So they kind of cycle around the grid. So if this one went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this one might go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, starting again at the top. So I don't know for sure that real slot machines have uh, drums that work like that, but I'll take Swaroop's word for it. And that's how this puzzle works. So these three grey strips are the same, but kind of cycled around the grid. So there we go. Um, gonna have a go at the puzzle in a moment. Do feel free to try it on the link below the video um, before watching myself. But let's get cracking and see what we've got. Oh, and I should mention actually, just before I get cracking, that our tester liked the puzzle, thought it was not too hard at all, and removed a bot, removed a cage that is not necessary. So thanks for that. <laughs> Might be a bit harder for me. We'll see. Um, right. Well, this there's a lot of seven cell cages, and they look quite interesting. This one adds up to 42. Now the rule of 45 says that every row, column, and in this case box must add up to 45, because that's the total of the numbers from one to nine. Now, once we take 42 out of that, that leaves these two cells adding up to three, so they must be two and one. And again, down here, there's only one possibility, 29 from 45 is 16. That has to be nine and seven in that little domino there. Um, across here, 34, so 11 here, doesn't include a nine or a seven because of those. So it's either eight and three or six and five. If it was eight and three, it would couldn't be with the eight there. Up here, mm, this is 35, so these add up to 10. Ah, but they don't have a one and two. So it's either three and seven or four and six. Now let's keep going with these cages because lots of them are very carefully filling almost all the cells that don't have given digits. So up here we have 21 in that shape, plus 9 is 30, plus those two is 35. These make 10. Now there are four combinations for 10 in two digits, and three of them are impossible. 1 and 9, because there's already a 9 in the box, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, so this one is 4 and 6. And indeed, we can write those numbers in because of the 6 there. So down here in the symmetrical box, 19 plus that is 20, 29. Uh, that leaves 16 again, just as over here where we had a 29. So this is 9 and 7, so we're really getting some numbers now. Um, so this is five or eight because of the two and four up there and everything else in the box. Hmm. Should we look to the slot machine, which now every other column apart from this one must have a nine on directly on top of a six. Um, I don't think that's, ah, oh, look, one and two are looking at those cells. So one in box two has to be here. These ones are a 587 combination. That one can't be 7. Um, 
these are anything from 2458. Actually, they're not, because whether this is a 5 or an 8, when you combine it with this pair, we must have used up both 5 and 8. If this is a 5, this will be 3, 8, which uses up both 5 and 8. If this is an 8, this will be 5, 6, and that uses up 5 and 8 too. So we can actually take 5 and 8 out of those cells, which are a 2, 4 pair now. So look, now, now we've, oh, in fact, this is 5, 7, 8, even better. So now we know this is not 3 and 7. So that's 4 and 6, uh, 5, 7, 8, 1, 2. So at the edges, we have 3 and 9. Right, so what do we have on this? If we start here, oh no, even. Yeah, okay, so we've got five or eight, then two or four, then nine, six, five, seven or eight, one, and then three other numbers. So where could we put nine, six, something, one? Where could they start? in this column. Well, 9 can't start in this box because of the 7, 9 there. 9, 6 is impossible because that can't be a 6. So 9, 6, something, 1. That does look possible. This would have to be an 8. Uh, ah, yeah. Oh, no. The, no. the number above the 9 is a 2 or a 4, and that's not going to work here. There's a 2 in the box and a four there. So the nine has to begin in this box in one of these three cells. And it can't begin there because the six would be here. And it can't begin here because the one would be here. So we're down to this, nine, six, something, one. Now, above the nine, we have a four or a two. That clearly has to be a two. That fixes that too. Above that, we have a 5 or an 8. Can't resolve that. Below the 6, we have 5, 7 or 8. 7 in the box, so that's 5 or 8. Um, and that gives us the 7 in row 2. Now, yes, this one we had as a 3 or a 9 for the row, and we've now placed the 9. So that's 3. 9 goes there. That 3 occurs just before the 5 or 8. So there, then we've got 7 and 4 to put in, and they go above the 3, 7, and then 4. And that all works for that column. I haven't resolved these 5 8s. Let's take it over to the final column. So I'm going to start from the 9 again. 9 can't be in this box because of that 9. 9, 6, something, 1 is impossible because of the 1 there. 9, 6 is impossible. 9, 6 is impossible. Oh no, I'm running out of possibilities. Um, 9 can't be at the bottom, so I think we're reduced to 9 here. If this doesn't work, I've got it all wrong. So 9, 6, 5 or 8, 1. Four, yes, that does work. Seven, three, five or eight, which we now know must be five, two. And there we go. And now we can finish off all of those slot machine columns. So under the three is a five, so that's an eight. Under the three is a five, so that's an eight. And we can finish off what that's given us in the pairs that we already had marked. This was 11, wasn't it? Yeah. That's right. So there we go. That's pretty much going to get us home, I would have thought. Now, 23 plus 7 is 30, plus 8 is 38. 7 more here must be 1 and 6, because 2 and 3 have both been used in the box. That gives us 9 and 4 for the rest. 9, 6, 5, 8, 7 and 1 to go in column 8 there. And three, two, four to go in column seven. Five and eight must be that way around. Two and three, yep, we can do them too. Over here, 
Uh, let's try this box. Yes, seven must go in there. Now to make this 25 sum, we need a one, three and eight can be resolved. That one fixes the two one pair. That seven fixes the nine seven. Two and three here, and it's pretty straightforward now, I think. This puzzle hasn't been too bad at all, really. I mean, goodness knows if it would have been even easier with whatever the other cage was. Ooh, I've just written in the wrong things there. Six and four, pay attention. Otherwise, I'll get the wrong result at the end and be completely distressed. Two and eight. Nine and one, and there we go. So that is the answer to Swaroop's slot killer puzzle. Um, if you had a go at that, I think that's very manageable. I hope you, you figured your way through it. Uh, quite an enjoyable one. If you're a speed merchant, it won't have taken you very long at all. Um, only other thing to mention for me today is that I got my first post-lockdown haircut, so that's why you're seeing a difference there, perhaps. Um, and I'm delighted with it. So anyway, hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Thanks very much for watching and uh, see you later. Bye now.